Hi everyone, it's Shelby. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a pin strummer using bobby pins and a piece of cardboard. I cut this off of a box that I had shipped to me and these I got from the dollar store. Um, the other thing you're going to need is tape. So, first thing we're going to do is take off maybe four bobby pins. Yeah, four. And we're going to open them like this and stretch them out a little bit so that it looks like that. And this one is going to be the one that I'm going to have open the biggest. And then the next one, I'm going to open it just a little bit less. So this one is sticking almost straight up, and then this one a little bit less than that. And then this one a little bit less than that one. And then the last one will be a little bit less and the smallest. Okay. I'll show you guys what I got here. Okay. So that's what my bobby pins look like. They're kind of like, they're all different, you know, going from biggest to smallest. So once you have your bobby pins um, bent the way that you want them to, you're gonna take your cardboard, and I'm actually gonna cut this in half because this is a really long piece of cardboard compared to the size of my bobby pin. So I'm gonna cut that a little bit, probably about right there. So now this piece of cardboard is about the size of my hand. And then I'm going to tape on my bobby pins. So we have our cardboard, and then your bobby pin is going to sit flat, the flat side like that. So that's what it's going to look like. And you're going to tape it on there. First one is on. And now I'm going to take my other three bobby pins and just tape them one, two, three next to this one. Last one. This is what it looks like so far. And I'm going to do my last one right now. Okay. So I have all of my bobby pins taped on here. It doesn't have to look pretty, but if you want, you could paint this and make it look pretty. Um, yeah, that is... I might put another piece of tape going this way, just so they're nice and secure. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And then we are finished, and we can see what kind of sounds it makes. So we got higher sounds on the lower one. This one's not the greatest sound. Let's see what it sounds like if I bend it further back. That's interesting. 
I think this one is my favorite. Yeah, so you guys can have fun making this and playing around with the kind of sounds you can make on it.